Hey, so we're going to install Parallels 20, which um, has only been out a couple weeks. Pretty excited about it. Let's see. One of the new features it claims to have is something to do with AI. Now, I haven't dug into that to see what that actually means, but we'll install it and find out. My goal here is to install Parallels and get us running Windows 11. Okay? Uh, yeah. Open. I didn't do the automatic install. I actually downloaded the image. It's, yeah, I don't mind letting Parallels have some information. What's my password? Okay. Yes, I would like to allow you to have access to the downloads folder. All right. Why well, Parallel Desktop requires access to these folders? I'm fine with that. Next. Yes, you can have access to the desktop folder. Yes, you can have access to my documents folder. Yes, you can have access to my downloads folder. After that, I got to think about it. Okay, there's my login to Parallels. Ah, oh, good. Picked up my license for me. Activate. All right, successfully activated. Now, we're going to install Windows 11. Now, right out of the back. It's like, oh, that must be the thing you want to do. And in this particular case, yes, I do. It's going to take a little while to download. I do have a fast internet connection, but it is going to take a little time to download. So, we'll wait. I'll probably speed this part up. Yeah, I'll speed up anything that's really boring, like watching paint dry, watching files download, those kind of things. Hydrate while you wait. And I'm installing this on an M2 MacBook Pro that has 32 gig of memory. Now I'm probably only going to give 8 gig to Windows 11. I don't need it. It's not going to be my daily driver. I run it as needed. So once I access my microphone, um, no. Well, I, I don't know why you need that. All right. Uh, install install Parallels Desktop uh, Toolbox. Some of this stuff is kind of cool. I like the uninstall feature. Um, it does have some cool features in the toolbox. Sometimes that annoys me and I delete it. But it does add some cool features. And some of them are neat. So I do run the Parallels toolbox. Usually if it gets in my way, I will turn it off. But probably the uninstall feature is probably my favorite because some things do not uninstall cleanly on Mac. You know, you just get rid of the executable, but that leaves all the library files behind. So, yep. Okay. Let's start. Alarm. Next. Break time. Free memory, da, da, da. Lots of tools. Yeah. Transform text. I'll have to look at that, see what that is, but that's all good. So it's installed. Uh, I, I don't need you to have access to my microphone, but I do appreciate you asking. And I'm going to close all these things out up here. Okay. Now, the other thing I'm going to turn off is having Parallel start on startup. I don't want it to do that. I only want to start when I'm going to use it. I'm also not going to let it have access to my Mac desktop. Those are things that I don't usually do. Um, I don't have an an I don't have a need to copy files from my Mac to my Windows 11. So I try to keep it isolated for security purposes and kind of treat it like a sandbox. So I can do things without worrying about impacting uh, my Mac natively. Also, I'm going to get rid of the shortcuts. I don't like the Windows 11 shortcut on my desktop. I'd rather be under applications if I need it, or I'd rather start parallels up and start Windows 11. But those are all personal preferences. You can do however you want. It's almost done. I've almost got Windows 11. Of course, there is a way around it, but it is going to force me to log into the Microsoft Cloud. The way around it is you turn your networking off when you set up Windows 11, and then you can create a local account. Basically, when Microsoft gives up thinking you're ever going to let it have access to the Internet, it will let you create a local account. But it's not that important for this use case. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Microsoft account and get going. Now, 
this part is done. I can close this out now. Uh, make it bigger as I want. Interesting. Yep. All right. Anyway, so I'm gonna close that out, and I'm going to eject the Parallels Desktop because that part is done. This is the first time starting up Windows 11, so it's gonna take a few minutes. Okay. Uh, don't allow. Okay. Click to continue. Yes, I have to accept the Microsoft licensing terms. Yes, I accept, of course. All right, so now I'm going to grab it here and drag it out. Windows 11 successfully installed. That's exciting. Oh, here's Edge trying to join the party. You stay out of the party right now. We don't need you to join the party. All right. Now, it does do a default user. It's got like a count it starts up with, so it's all good now, but at some point, it's going to nag me to do more. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to go and install start without syncing my data confirm and continue uh, continue without this data sure okay you're happy I'm happy let's just go dark all the time okay it's a dark world out there well sign in alright All right. so now we're logged in Yay, how exciting political news. Make it go away. All right. It's not that I don't just love Bing. I just don't love Bing. So, notepad plus plus download. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll do that later. I do appreciate you jumping in there. We'll get that later. Right now, I'm going to download the latest release. Look for notepadplusplus.org so you get the latest. I, I just want to download it. I always hate Windows puzzles. Uh, pay no attention to whatever that is and go straight to the download. Download. Save as. Yes. Uh, don't allow, but thanks though. All right. Mm -hmm. Open, says me. Yes, allow this device to install. Okay, next. I agree, next. Next, let's see back. Uh, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm fine with our updater. Create desktop shortcut. And Notepad Plus Plus is one of my favorite programs. Ta da! Great. Okay, so there's that. I've just installed Notepad Plus Plus. I've just installed Windows 11. That's it. That's how you do for. After you install Parallels, this instantly comes up and says, hey, you probably want to install Windows 11. And I said, go ahead and do it. So there we go. That's the complete how to install Windows 11 on Parallels and how to install Parallels. There we go. Enjoy.